Hi, hello. This is Anub here. Uh, this is a quick video. In this video, we are going to see what is the out of box or setup experience of Windows 10 1909, the latest version of Windows 10, right? Whether there's something changed or not. Let's check that out. So, normally, Windows 10 needs uh, internet connection to set up account now right if you have connected to Wi-Fi or any internet then you don't have any option to create a local account right if you don't have an internet connection then it will give you an option to create a local account and then probably you might need to answers to the security questions there will be for three security questions and you need to provide the answer to those security questions so these security questions and answers will help you to reset the password in case you forget the password or something like that right so apart from that I don't see much of changes in Windows 10 1909 right so this is a method which you need to follow to create local username and password basically login login name and password right so it will ask you to provide the password again so now create security questions for this account that's required now I have provided or answered three security questions and proceeding with the login or setup now so do you want to roam the settings it is asking I said no it's it's okay because probably this is my mission lab mission so I don't want to roam the settings across my devices I don't want a digital assistance in this scenario but I clicked on yes that's fine I agree to the nice no I don't want assistance voice assistance no, I don't want these settings will will be different for your production setup, right? If you are doing a production kind of a setup, if you are using this device as a daily use a system probably it's better to have all these things enabled right that will give you better experience for you so windows 10 setup is going on So I am logged into Windows 10 1909 device with local user right now I am going to do a sysprep just type the command sysprep from your run and you can run that exe and that will do the sysprep so this will be helpful while creating the lab missions if you want to create a VHD or VHDX file for your Windows 10 testings right so sysprep is going to take some time depending on the resources which you have on those on that particular Windows 10 device basically it depends on your memory size of the memory RAM 
and processor etc right what kind of disk you have if you have a HDD then it will take more time than SSD okay thank you for watching this one see you next time bye bye